Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing Kakashi using his Chidori. So he's like lunging to the side. So it's not like a frontal one, it's a profile picture. So his head's over here and his hand's all the way back here. So we're on a landscape orientation page, a long page, use a pencil and an eraser. Much easier to do it that way, put ink on, on top of your pencil. So hit pause if I go too fast as well. Right, so we're gonna start right over here. And we're gonna start with his nose, right? So to do the nose when they're in profile, I like to do this kind of L shape. Kind of like that, this sort of L, like so. Right, so Kakashi has this gap for his eyes, right? So between the headband and sort of his mask, right? So the the mask will come like over this way. And then we've a line just for his brow, like that. And then the mask will kind of go back like this. Not the mask, sorry, the headband goes back like so, okay? So his eye is in this gap. Right, so I'll just, I'll finish the headband going up, going up around here. So I'll just go up, sort of like so. And his mask kind of curves back this way. And his jaw being here, right? So the eye then has to be in inside here. So the head, the headband goes all the way back this way. All right, real long. And we got like some hair, like his hair just in here. So if we get this shape in first, then we can get his eye. Right. So that's like his sideburn and his eye is going to be like in here. Okay. So top eyelid sort of like comes across here. And it'll go curve back down like so. And then his bottom eyelid curves around. And then his iris and pupil. So he's no sharing gun or anything. It's just like black there. And then he has a big frowning eyebrow that goes all the way down nearly to his nose. So like just a tick that goes underneath his headband there. And then just an area that you can color in. Just in there. And then you got an eyelid line just up underneath that. So maybe like a line underneath his eye there. Right, so we'll go down and finish his face. So just underneath his nose here, we got his top lip sticking out like that. Bottom lip then, down there. And then we'll bring it down for his chin. Get to there. And then we'll go in. And then around for his jaw. Now you can join you can join this up to his jaw, or you can just sort of leave a gap. It's kind of up to you. I kind of don't like the eyelid line. I think I need to fix it. Sorry. All right, so I'll try that again. I just need to make it a little bit longer, I think. Most people wouldn't care about this, but I do, I care. Like it probably looks the exact same as it did, but it's just a little bit better. Right, okay, moving on. So, his ear, just in here, sort of coming out from where his mask sort of ends. Like ear, here, right? Ear. <laughs> um, and kind of comes up the earlobe there. The earlobe will come up top of his ear here, back down into there. And then you could have some bone ligaments, lines, and stuff just coming around here. Like that. Right, so in the back of his headband, 
kind of bumps up and around here. And then we have hair spikes that come along. So one, big one here. And then another headband sort of line that kind of curves down like so. And then it comes to hair spikes here. Right. And we got the metal plate just in here on the front. It kind of curves around. Back down like so. So there. And we can see like the bolts that sort of hold it on on the edge. And some of the spiral leaf. So it's got like points sticking out and then some of that spiral but we can't see it all it's just like goes around into there so we'll finish his hair so it goes like comes out from the back of his headband just up here so lower like, up like so and they're small at first but then they get bigger as they go out so we're going to go all the way around to here kind of pre shippued in sort of Kakashi. He's got like that longer kind of hair. Out to the front. Like that. Okay. Um, then like his headband is tied at the back. So we just add sort of these bow like kind of lines like we're just sort of tied back here and then we can see so the starts of his shoulders so he's got those um armor plating things around his neck right so we'll do what do we do what are we gonna do <laughs> we'll do um we'll do that armor first i think so um so it comes out here. So the one that goes around his neck first here. So we'll go out and around. So out to there, right? So that's kind of a, the bottom of it here. And it, it goes around, bumps around here and comes back up and in. And it'll go sort of around there. And then we can see some more hair spikes just here. You know, like that. And then it has that line that goes so out from these things. So you're just kind of following the shape up around the back of his head. And you do the same thing here again. Right? So they're a particular type of shape, these things. So let's see. So the middle. The middle of this where it comes down like so and then it'll go around for like a, a, a gray sort of section like a zipper sort of section here and this will go the whole way down right and we'll just add another side to it kind of bumpy doesn't have to be straight and we're going diagonal down here so then the other side of it comes up like so and then we can see this this thing on this side which is smaller goes around the bottom up here it's kind of tricky to draw this so take your time and his neck I'm gonna say say underneath this hair here now we'll just bring it back and then down into there just to complete that side of it. And then it has that sort of seam or bump line coming down there. And then we could have like a collarbone here, collarbone going that way back towards that shoulder. So your collarbone always goes to where your shoulder is right so his shoulder will be out here and this shoulder will be up here it all your collarbone if you run your finger along it goes from the center of your throat sort of at the bottom 
all the way to your AC joint on the top of your shoulder. So collarbones are actually handy just to know where everything goes, kind of. That's what I think anyway. <laughs> um, right, we'll finish the body on this side. So he's got like a shoulder pad here. Like this sort of green armor-like shoulder pad. That comes out this way. Bump it around. Bump it around a few times. Could have like a fold line in there. And then there's like a button down here. And then this has an edge that you just go around the line you drew, just there. And then his arm, his elbow kind of goes off the bottom of my page here. So it'll go like a couple of fold lines down that way. And then we bring that down there. Side of his armor, body, chest area, going that way. And then his armpits, his arm, fold lines going that way. Could be some fold lines there as well. That's like the direction of his arm, going that way. So, next. Uh, right, we have another shoulder here. So this shoulder is bigger, this one's smaller, right? So comes out from the top up here. Bump it around, go down like that and then back like so. Then we trace that line again, so you go around. So add a button. And like full line, stuff like that. Side of his body comes out here, sort of folding, bumping. It's just this armor sort of lines, right? And you give him a sort of an edge as well. My Sharpie's wasting, gotta change it. <clears throat> Let's try this one. Right, uh, so he's got um, pockets here, like box-like sort of pockets. So, goes down like in a square direction. And this has like a line across here, and then we go like down here. Lines across. You just have to do this roughly, it's not sort of imperative that you get it sort of perfect or anything. Right, that kind of thing. And then something like here as well. Just down. And this one has like a side. You can see the side of this one. It's got like a seam on it as well. And it comes like across. some fold lines there and then right his arm goes out to his Chidori hand out this way okay so let's say it'll come out from his armpit we're gonna go this way right first and the top of his shoulder will be here right and then this comes like down and you're bumping and folding because you know it's clothing so it's not like 
you know, it's not straight line because he's got like a sleeve on. So fabric has to like move and bump and like this kind of stuff. And the sleeve can come around maybe there. He's got a spiral on his shoulder here as well. Naruto has this spiral. Do, 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 do. And right, so the hand comes out of the sleeve here. So you just do a curve line around like so. Another curve line comes out and around here. And then his thumb comes out like, then we got like bumps and stuff. Right, so and then there's knuckle. side of his hand <clears throat> so he's making this kind of weird sort of gesture right so it's kind of all distorted and you see the side of his hand here and then this kind of comes up for his finger Put it this way and then around the top back in down Take your time with hands now, they're quite tricky. Especially ones with like all these knuckle lines and stuff like that, so. And the hand is quite far away, so it's quite small, so. Knuckle line there. Knuckle line up and around, down like so. Knuckle here, down to there, and go again. Cross, up, and go on. There, the gnarly sort of hand. And then his little finger, again, sort of going up this way. Like that. There's like a line here, and he's got a metal band on his glove, and the lines for his glove come across his fingers. Like that. Okay, let me see. So, The Chidori um, lines, so let me see where it is. Sorry, now I'm just moving pictures. Just color, I just got, where is it? Okay, here, I gotta like darken it up because it's hard to see. Do, do, do. Hopefully I'll edit this part out of the video. If I don't, I apologize. Because I forgot about it. Me in the future, edit this out. Okay, so I probably won't. <laughs> um, uh. Uh, right, so he's got like these, you know, lightning sort of going around in a circle, right? But they go, some of them go quite long. You know, going up like this kind of stuff. You can go as far as you want with this stuff now. I'll just. Go like this. 
it's kind of you're going for like this jaggedy sort of lightning kind of feel it's more of a feel i can't describe so you're just adding these sharp angles and you know you're going around the circle there and then We'll go in behind his body then. Uh, and you know, there might be one floating off sort of here as well. You know, you can add sparks and stuff. But that is the basic idea. That is how to draw Kakashi as Chidori. Hope yourself, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.